Hey, this is Casey Ferris. Thank you so much for checking out another one of my tutorials. And today, this is kind of a behind the scenes almost. I'm pretty much gonna walk you through how I finish editing and color grading a video. And the video that I'm gonna be showing you is actually another tutorial on my channel, which you can look at here. And it's how to make a good cup of espresso using a $20 AeroPress. It's pretty cool for anybody who likes coffee. Definitely recommend checking that out. But if you, like me, are a nerd who loves editing and color correction, this should be a really cool tutorial for you. So without further ado, let's get started. I have my edit totally finished. It's in Premiere. It's mostly footage I shot myself on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, all shot in RAW. There's also some stock footage, which I don't know what it was shot on, but um, it looks nice, so I put that in there. A lot of beauty shots, all with the same lighting. Uh, the only thing that's different is just some of the exposures and a couple of the lenses that were used. So it shouldn't be too bad. One thing to note about this project is all of the editing was done with proxy files. Now these proxy files were made with Resolve. All I did was bring in the original raw footage and pretty much just queue it to make H.264 proxies. And so they're the exact same frame size, frame rate, and everything with the raw footage. It's just rendered out as an MP4 for easier editing. So my first job is to bring this edit into Resolve and relink it to the original media so I can play with the raw settings. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go up to File and Export, and I'm gonna export a Final Cut Pro XML, and then it's gonna ask me where do you want to put this? So I'm gonna make a new folder and I'm gonna call this XML and I'm gonna throw that in there, copy proxy edit, that sounds good, I'll hit save. Awesome. So now my XML is saved out of Premiere and I'm gonna try and open it up in Resolve and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's Resolve. I'm gonna hit new project. I'll call this coffee tutorial, hit create. So now that I made my new project, I'm gonna to go to the media tab and I'm gonna find my original raw media. And here it is, here's all my footage from my pocket camera. And I'm gonna drag these into my media pool. And so that should be all of my footage. So I'm gonna go over to edit, and I'm gonna import AAF, EDL, and XML. Navigate to my XML, and I'll hit open. And now I'm gonna leave everything pretty much how it is, except for I'm gonna uncheck automatically import source clips into media pool. And the reason for that is because all of that footage that I just brought in has the exact same name as my proxies. It's just in a different folder. So what it's gonna do is start looking for my proxy footage in the media pool. And because it has the exact same name as my original footage, it's going to relink and uh, everything's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna link up to the original raw media. It's gonna be great. So I'm gonna hit okay. And it's gonna say, oh wow, there's a lot of stuff here that is wrong. And really all that's wrong is it can't find my VO, which I don't care about. And it can't find my music, which I don't care about. And then I have a couple stock footage clips here that it can't find, so I'm gonna to navigate to those. I'm gonna hit close. Now here in my timeline, we can see these are the clips that I'm missing. So what I'm gonna do is go back to the media tab and find those clips. And here they are, we got the two coffee bean shots, and I'm gonna drag those into my media pool and go back to edit, and there they link up. So now that I have my edit here and it's linked up to my original media, I want to kind of at least skim through it and see See if things came through right. There's a couple of places that I'm kind of expecting problems on, and they have to be these two clips. That's why they're in this other track, because I kind of expected them to give me trouble. And it looks like, it looks like they might be giving me trouble here, because these are supposed to be a still frame. And so there's a lot of different ways to deal with this, but what I think I'm gonna do is just color grade these knowing that they're gonna be still, and I'm just gonna grab the still frame in Premiere. So this might not be the best way to do it, but it's probably the easiest just for this project. Normally what you would probably do is go into Premiere and find the original clip and render out just a still uh, from the original clip. But you know, this, this is gonna work fine. So I'm just gonna do this. So I think everything looks fine, but what I'm gonna do just to make sure is I'm gonna make a render from Premiere 
and I'm going to put this up on my third track and I'm going to compare it because I want to make sure that my edit came over perfectly from Premiere into Resolve. So I'm back in Premiere and I'm going to hit Control M and I can pretty much make whatever I want. I just need to be able to compare it to my new edit. So I'll just make a Cineform because it happens to render really fast and that's pretty much the only reason. And I'll call this Proxy Edit and save. All right, so my render's done and I'm gonna go back to Resolve and I'm gonna go back to my Media tab and here's my Coffee Proxy Edit. I'm just gonna drag that into my Media Pool and go to Edit. Here it is in my browser. And I'm gonna drag this up to Video 3, not worrying about audio. And I'm just making sure that this is lined up with the very beginning of the sequence. Because if I don't have that lined up, then nothing that I do is going to make any sense. Also gonna take a second just to delete the audio because we don't need it for this part. And so I'm just gonna go through and find, just kind of spot check this. And I'm turn my track on and off just to make sure that everything comes through just right. So it looks like everything's fine. What I might do is just take my opacity down to 50 and that will let me see any differences because if anything's weird it'll kind of look ghosty. So I have a ghost image here which means that something's different between the original footage and our new edit and it looks like the problem is that this connected to the wrong clip. Now, <clears throat> this could be for any number of reasons, but it really doesn't matter because the point is I want to connect to the right clip. And so what I'm gonna do is try and find the right clip in the media pool. And I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna right click and hit force conform with selected media pool clip. And it's given me an error. So it's unable to replace because the replacement clip does not have sufficient content. Now I happen to know that this clip was shot at 29.97 and I conformed it to 23976 in Premiere. And so I'm just gonna double check that, right click and go to Clip Attributes, and it's coming in at 2997. So I'm just gonna switch that to 23976 and hit OK. And I bet the other one did that too. So I'm gonna right click, Clip Attributes, 23976 and hit OK. And now I'm gonna see if this connects. I'm gonna right click and say Force Conform, and there it switches. So it looks like everything's good again. And I'm gonna go over and... So it looks like maybe the frame rate screwed this up also. So I'm gonna select this clip and this clip and say force conform again. Let's see if that helps. And it sure does, that fixed it. So I'm gonna keep scrubbing through here. And just make sure that we don't have anything crazy going on. This one's weird, but we already knew that. This one's weird, but we already knew that. Okay, this looks like a solid edit and I'm gonna delete my original proxy edit. And so now I have a totally frame accurate, nice looking edit imported into Resolve with an XML. That means we're ready to grade.